In this video, we will be solving part A and part B of the question number 4.7. So let's begin. Your question says, Harry Mazzola has the utility function of u of x1 comma x2 is equal to minimum of x1 plus 2x2 comma 2x1 plus x2 where x1 is the consumption of corn chips and x2 is his consumption of french fries. So with this information your part A says on the graph below use a pencil to draw the locus of points along which x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 2x1 plus x2. Use blue ink to show the locus of points for which x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 12 and also blue ink to draw the locus of points for which 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 12. And this is the graph given to us where on the x-axis you have corn chips and on the y-axis you have french fries. So basically on the x-axis you have x1 which represents his consumption of corn chips and on the y-axis you have x2 which represents the consumption of french fries. Firstly the question asks us to draw the locus of points along which x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 2x1 plus x2. So let's simplify this expression so that you have x1 variable on the left side and x2 variable on the right side. So you have x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 2x1 plus x2. Let's take x1 on the left hand side and x2 on the right hand side. So that would be x1 minus 2x1 is equal to x2 minus 2x2 which is simplifying it we get minus of x1 is equal to minus of x2 or x1 is equal to x2 and now we have to draw this line using a pencil. So this is nothing but a 45 degree line passing through the origin. So this black line is your is the locus of points along which x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 2x1 plus x2. Now the question further says use blue ink to show the locus of points for which x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 12. Using your basic knowledge of your geometry you can easily draw this line which would look like this. So this is your locus of points for which x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 12. And also the question asks us to use the blue wing to draw the locus of points for which 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 12. Again we can easily draw this line which will look like this. So this upward sloping line is the locus of points for which 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 12. Now let's move on to the next part which says on the graph you have drawn shared in the region where both of the inequalities are satisfied that is x1 plus 2x2 is greater than equal to 12 and 2x1 plus x2 is greater than equal to 12. Also add the bundle x1 comma x2 is equal to 8 comma 2 one sees that 2x1 plus x2 is equal to dash and x1 plus 2x2 is equal to dash therefore u of 8 comma 2 is equal to dash. So let's first draw the graph we are required and after that we will solve for these blank. So let's begin. In the previous part we drew this graph where black line shows the locus of points where x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 2x1 plus x2. Your this blue line corresponds to the equation x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 12 and this upward sloping line corresponds to the equation 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 12. Now we have to shade in these inequalities. Firstly let's consider this inequality where x1 plus 2x2 is greater than equal to 12. Now consider this downward sloping line which is your line x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 12. This downward sloping line is dividing your graph into two regions which is this region the one I'm shading in blue and this region the one I'm shading in red. Now if we want to see that which region would correspond to x1 plus 2x2 is greater than equal to 12 what we have to do is we have to just just choose any random point belonging to any of these regions and see if that point satisfies this inequality. If the point satisfies the inequality then that point belongs to this inequality or we can say that the entire region would correspond to the inequality and if that does not satisfy the inequality then the other region would satisfy the equality. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a numerical example and see. Suppose I take this point which is your point 4 comma 1. So here I have a point as 4 comma 1 where my x1 is 4 and x2 is equal to 1. Let's substitute this value into this inequality. On the left hand side I have x1 plus 2x2. So let's evaluate it at 4 comma 
1 that would be 4 plus twice of 1 which is equal to 4 plus 2 which is 6 and as you can clearly see that 6 is less than 12 that means any point in this red shaded region would satisfy the inequality of x1 plus 2x2 less than 12 you can pick any other point and verify if you're not convinced but we want the inequality where x1 plus 2x2 is greater than or equal to 12 so that would lie in the opposite region which is the blue region now let's pick a point in the blue region to see if that is true or not so let's pick up this point which is your 6 comma 8 so we have 6 comma 8 then your x1 is 6 and x2 is Again on the left hand side you have x1 plus 2x2 evaluating it at 6 comma 8. So we have to substitute x1 with 6 and x2 with 8. That would be 6 plus twice of 8. That would be 6 plus 16 which is 22 and it is obviously greater than 12. Thus this point satisfies this inequality and that would be true for any other point belonging to this blue region hence blue region is the region satisfying the inequality of x1 plus 2x2 greater than equal to 12 so if i formally shade this region it would look like this so this red shaded region is the region corresponding to the inequality x1 plus 2x2 greater than equal to 12 likewise let's shade in the region corresponding to the inequality 2x1 plus x2 is greater than equal to 12 again the process remains the same so let's quickly do that now note that this upward sloping line is your 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 12 that means now we have two regions as this green region the one i'm shading in green and this orange region the one i'm shading in orange in order to see which region corresponds to the given inequality that is 2x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 12 we have to pick any point in the in any of the region and see if that point satisfy this inequality or not so let's pick a point here it would be of the form 6 comma 4 so i have 6 comma 4 where my x1 is 6 and x2 is 4 now on the left hand side i have 2x1 plus x2 so that would be 2x1 plus x2 and i have to evaluate it at the point 6 comma 4 that would be twice of 6 plus 4 which is equal to 12 plus 4 which is 16 which is greater than 12 that means that this point satisfy the inequality and this is true for any of the point corresponding to the green shaded region hence the region corresponding to the inequality 2x1 plus x2 greater than equal to 12 is this region the one i have shaded in blue now note very important thing here the question asks us to say shade in that region that satisfy the inequality x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 12 and the inequality 2x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 12 the emphasis on and because you have to find that common region which is belonging to both the inequalities and if you see that this purple region is belonging to both the inequalities as it is common to both the inequalities hence the region where both of the inequalities are satisfied would be this region so be very careful whether it's and or or in case of and we have to satisfy both the inequalities and hence we would be taking a common region which is this purple region in this particular case now let's move on to the next part of this question which says add the bundle x1 comma x2 is equal to 8 comma 2 one sees that 2x1 plus x2 is equal to dash and x1 plus 2x2 is equal to dash let's calculate the values of these two equations at the point 8 comma 2 we have the point as x1 comma x2 as 8 comma 2 that means your x1 is 8 and x2 is 2 now let's evaluate 2 x1 plus x2 at 8 comma 2 so all we have to do is substitute the value of x1 with 8 and x2 with 2 so that would be twice of 8 plus 2 which is 16 plus 2 which is 18 so the answer here would be 18 and now we have to also evaluate x1 plus 2x2 at this point so that would be x1 plus 2x2 all i'm doing is just substituting the values of x1 and x2 with 8 and 2 respectively so that would be 8 plus twice of 2 which is 8 plus 4 so here this is 12 now we have to find the utility at the point 8 comma 2 a utility function was of the form u of x1 comma x2 is equal to minimum of 2x1 
2x1 plus x2 comma x1 plus 2x2 now we have to evaluate the utility at the point 8 comma 2 so that would be u of 8 comma 2 is equal to minimum of these two expressions evaluated at the point 8 comma 2 which we have already done here so 2x1 plus x2 when evaluated at 8 comma 2 would give us the value of 18 and x1 plus 2x2 when evaluated at 8 comma 2 would give us the value of 12 that would be 12 and now we have to choose the minimum of 18 and 12 which is obviously 12 so as 12 is the lower of the two so the utility at, when evaluated at the point 8 comma 2 is so that was all for this video we would be doing the remaining parts in the next video